grab some dumbbells and get a mat. You're working out with Tarashe. I'm going to help you get back into shape by teaching you beginner, intermediate, and advanced exercises. Everything to work for every level. Just stay tuned and work out with me. Hello, welcome to Back in Shape with T. I'm Tarashe. And if your goal is to get a pretty damn good workout without having a bunch of equipment laying around, your best bet is to do supersets, triceps, very little rest in between exercises, very little rest in between sets in order to stimulate some muscle growth and to get a muscle pump. What I've done here is a combination of chest press from the floor, tricep extension from the floor, pet fly from the floor. Three exercises back to back to sufficiently fatigue my muscle so I can get some type of stimulus because I'm only using 40 pounds and honestly with the chest press I use between 100 and 140 pound dumbbells. Tricep extension 40 is more than enough for me uh, and pet flies I'll use about 50 pounds if I isolate those three exercises but instead of isolating those three exercises, doing them back to back, it's going to keep my metabolism revved up, but it also provides me the opportunity to fatigue the muscle sufficiently so I'm not half stepping on my workout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, turn it right around. Your best bet is to do triceps and chest back to back. Five, six, seven, eight. Muscles are fatigued now, but not enough. I'll have to do some flies. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. The idea here is that we're going back to back almost non-stop. Because it's not a heavy weight, I'm doing as many repetitions as I can. I start off with as many as 10 repetitions for each one of these exercises. And I'll work my way all the way down to doing about five. When I can't do a minimum of five, I stop the exercises altogether because I know that I've sufficiently burnt my muscle out. This is a great way to really challenge your body if you do not have a whole lot of weight to deal with. So I'm continuing on with the idea that all I have are 40 pound dumbbells to work with. So I'm going to make the most out of the exercise itself. Here I'll do my alternating bicep curls and I might hit eight on each arm. Full range of motion. Four, I'll turn it to the side here so you can see how much muscle action that is. Three more each for good measure. One, one, Two, two, three, three. With the 40 pound dumbbell, since I have a little bit of fatigue going on, I'm gonna go right away into a uh, bent over or one arm row rather. I'll set it up. I've got myself in really good position here. And I'll do about 15 here. Three, four, good posture, five, Six, seven, stretch. Eight, nine, ten, stretch. One, two, three, four, five. I'll shoot it on to the other side. Right on the other side. Chest up, abs tight. Nice reach. Fifteen reps. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight more. Here's nine, ten. I focus on the stomach in good spinal alignment. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
two, nice stretch. So here we're focusing on a good home workout with very little equipment. All I have is a pair of dumbbells, 40 pounders. I'm making the best use of them that I can. I'm trying to keep the body moving, trying to keep the muscle pumping, chest, back, biceps. Soon I'm gonna go into some balancing exercises for the leg. So I've got my stability ball and I'm gonna do a Romanian or a single leg lunge with my foot on the stability ball, one foot on the ground to challenge my balance. This will not only help me develop strength, unilateral, but also incredible stability throughout the core, hips, and the ankle. Keeping the core nice and tight. I really feel that in the glute. Excellent. Moving on to the other leg. Find the ball. I've been playing with these balls since 1998. Playing with balls since 1998. Go a little deeper. Four, four more. One, glutes are real. All right, once I complete three sets of each of those exercises back to back, I want to get my metabolism going. So a good thing to do at home, if you have the opportunity, is grab a little jump rope and give yourself a little bit of jump rope routine. I like to do between 400 and 1,000 reps. So I'll break them up to 100 reps at a time. I'll do maybe four to 10 sets of jump rope and call it a day for a nice quick home workout. As I said before, I'll go right away into jump rope after a simple workout like this. This gets my metabolism going. It's a super great exercise to keep some spring in your step, to get you feeling light and agile. I'll do 400 to 1,000 reps. I typically keep my reps down to 100, and I'll go 4 to 10 sets. I take very little rest in between sets. I'm trying to challenge myself, but I want to make sure that I'm able to do it. And taking chunks of 100 at a time makes it a lot more palatable. Very, very difficult if I try to do a 1,000 in a row without a break. I've told you guys that the 40-pound workout is incredibly tough. And my body really got beat up down there. Just to give you an example of how hard it is to go back to back to back, to the point where I was only able to squeeze out five reps, I'm going to take 80-pound dumbbells right here in my hand and bang out 20 easy repetitions on the chest press exercise. Not very difficult for me here, but because I'm using the basic principle with about one minute rest in between sets, my body is able to handle this. The no rest really makes it extremely difficult. Same thing I have you notice that because I'm not doing bicep curls, it's very easy for me to do a one-arm row for 15 reps with an 80-pound dumbbell. Did the same thing to help strengthen my back with the 40-pound dumbbell in my hand, and I really felt the muscle fatigue and burn. That's because I pre-fatigue the muscle by doing the bicep curls first. So if you only have light weight, trust me, you can get a very, very good workout. There is a difference in the way it feels.